Okay, good evening. Uh, I'm here again. Uh, I'm going to finish our lesson number three, uh, the topic for the charts, the Excel example. So this is just the introduction or basic of charts. Then we're going to go for the advanced charts later on. So that, let me share to you again that file. Okay, so this is the file. Uh, we have done number one in the first or the previous video. Now let's proceed with number two. So compare the midterm and final exam scores of the students. So there are two uh, columns that you're going to compare, so, but you don't have to, don't forget or don't miss student's name because how to identify the data you need a, a horizontal axis or uh, some label okay so midterms and final exam scores so you need the scores not the equivalent so control key press column k and then highlight everything and then column M also final exam scores and then release the control key you have to release the control key now you're going to go to the insert tab and now you're going to choose what chart so as, uh, as a practice my best advice is for you to use the recommended charts uh, earlier, we have an example of using either column or bar. Now I'm going to ask you to use the recommended charts. So this is always like uh, the easiest way in creating charts. So you choose which one of this will be suitable for you. Can you, you can go for the clustered uh, bar chart or you can go for the clustered column chart. I will go for the clustered column chart uh, or I will go for the bar chart because we already have that uh, in the first video, video uh, the bar chart. So just press OK. So you can see here the number and the names are limited because of size, of course. So but the, the, uh, the bars for the other students are here. Uh, for you to see their names, you have to expand the charts or make it bigger. And that will give you an idea for your students who are in here. Okay, again, you have the plus sign here. You can remove everything. Remove the chart title, for example, because there's nothing. Uh, and so on and so forth. Or the grid lines. And you also can remove the legend. But the legend is needed to identify if the orange is final exam and the blue is the mid exam. Okay? So that's number two. I'm going to uh, delete this chart. Let's go to number three. Now let's go to using uh, the summary worksheet, which is this, this is our summary worksheet. Filter those students who failed in math course, then show in chart their performance in the class. Use the student's name and the scores in the assessment. So we want to know their uh, um, performance in the class. So each student, we want to show uh, the audience what is their performance, like quiz, project, midterm exam, final exam. So, but first, Filter must be done. Oh, I already have a filter button here. So lowest uh, scores. Those who, students who failed in math course. So those who failed. So we have to see. So failing is always less than 50%. Passing is always more than or greater than or equal to 50%. That is uh, true for that is true for our Excel. Ah, 
and also a geotech assessment. So here, it's given already, if they are shaded, okay, those who fail. So I'm going to filter only, it's either I will filter the numbers less than 50, press OK. So these are the students who failed, or I'm going to filter the color. Okay, those who have red shades. Okay, so that's it. And then just highlight their names. I will include the headings. Okay, so that uh, we can see what is that bar for. Is it quiz, project, midterm, final exam? And then insert. And again, I'm going to go for the recommended charts. That's the trick to this one. Now, how are you going to present this? We want to know their performance. So this one, as you can see, this is Hayan Al Salmi. Okay. This is Hamam Al Jabri Faisal. So this is fine. Uh, you're comparing their assessments. Final exam is yellow. Uh, then the gray is the mid exam. Orange is project. Blue is the quiz. So you can see that this student have a good marks in the uh, his final exam, but he's really low in the project. So this is how you interpret that. So I'm going to use this and that's it. If you want to choose again for another cha uh, chart type, you can change it here. Okay, once you insert a chart and it is selected, you have chart tools, design and format. So you have, it's very important, important for you to, uh, to understand this. So that's it for number three. Let's proceed to number four. Compare the scores of the highest, two highest scores in quiz. Use scatter and width, smooth lengths and markers to see the difference. Compare the scores of the highest scores in quiz. So those you we want to select who are the two highest scores and we will use a, a scatter, a scatter, uh, a scatter chart with the specification. So now we cannot use the recommended charts. We have to use a particular chart according to the uh, task. So let's go to summary. Before we filtered it, now we're gonna ask, uh, we're gonna select all to unfilter it. <clears throat> okay, now the quizzes. So we need the top two in the quiz. So when you select the filter, okay, I'm going to use the top ten on the advanced filtering number filters, then top ten because we need the top two. So it must be in the ten because the this top 10 auto filter can be the bottom, just the lowest or the top. Okay, so all we have to do is just to identify top two, press OK. And we have again three students who have got top two scores, 23 and 24. But there are three, okay, because the, the top two uh, scores is uh, received by two students. So I'm going to highlight their names and their quiz score, and then I'm going to insert. Now I'm going to use a particular chart, not the recommended charts anymore, because this is only good for uh, a task that asks you to insert a chart and they didn't specify. But in the last example, I specified which one. So this one will be the scatter. This is bar or column. This is line, this is pi, and now this is the scatter. Now we will specify more scatter with scatter with smooth lines and markers. So you have to remember. Once you, I'm not sure if you can see that this in the video, but <clears throat> once you click this and you move around your mouse, uh, you will see a um, a note there or a name with the description scatter with smooth lines and markers. So just click that one and this is your answer. Okay, so I will not make this long. 
Um, if you have a question, we can um, uh, have an answer, a uh, question and answer on our live session on Monday and Wednesday. Again, I'm going to send you a, uh, a schedule on when, when will be our live sessions. So hope everything is fine with you. Hope every, everybody's safe. So just take care of yourselves and your family. Uh, God bless you all. Ciao.